Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we garden here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today I thought I would share with you an overview of some of the beautiful holiday gifts that I received this year. These are garden related, garden themed and useful in the garden. And so I thought maybe there's something here that might interest you as well. Also we might take a little bit of a talk through some other garden gift ideas for the gardeners in your life. So come with me and let's talk about these gift ideas. Now it's true that the majority of the gift giving season has just passed us by, but maybe you got some holiday gift money that you want to find something special to purchase for yourself. Or maybe you have a birthday or Valentine's Day or some other celebration coming up in the future uh, and you want to think about the gardener in your life and how you might be able to surprise them with something extra special. So I thought I would share with you what I received as garden gifts this year and also I'll tell you a little bit about some of the gifts that I gave to the gardeners in my life. This gift is a great idea as a craft project that you can make for your intended recipient and you can put all of your love into it in the way that you do it. It's one of these Plaster of Paris stepping stone kits and you can make these. It can be a child's project to give to a parent or a grandparent or a teacher, or you can, as an adult, you can make them and you can decorate them however you want and give them to your recipients as a token of your love for them that they can then put out in their garden. And let me share with you the one that my grandkids did for me. This is my stepping stone that my grandson and my granddaughter did for me with the help of their mom and dad, of course. Um, so it's got my grandson's handprint, my granddaughter's handprint, the letters say, we grow in love. And then my grandson, who's three and a half, um, decorated it with these blue gems. This is so special to me and I can't wait to find a place for this in my garden. This is um, Plaster of Paris and it's already um, a little bit dusty on my fingers. So I think I'm going to try to find some sort of sealer or protectant coating that I can put onto this so that I can preserve it and it won't disintegrate out in the garden. These you can find at any craft store. You can order, also order them online. I'll put a link or two below to projects like this um, in case you want to do one of these. My son and daughter-in-law gave me this beautiful birdhouse and I think our grandson picked it out. Um, this is a birdhouse that's made to look like a home, a person's home. Um, it does have one hole for birds to go into and it does have a clean out uh, door in the back. So you can use this outside and birds can make their nests in there and uh, raise their uh, babies. And then when that's done, you can clean it out and get it ready for the next bird family to move in. Now this is made out of wood, it is painted, the roof is not painted, it's natural. And so I would like to make sure that this can withstand more than just the coming season. I want it to last for as many years as I can make it last. So this is going to need a, a, a protectant coating as well. I'll probably look for some sort of spray paint sealer that I can use on this to preserve it and keep it from weathering away in the, in the uh, rain and sun outside. Now, I have seen these online at a few different places. I will find some examples online and I'll link them down below in case this is something you'd like to find for your home or for someone you love. This next one is so funny. It came from my daughter-in-law and she knows me oh so well. Um, it's a hat and it says, garden hair, don't care. And if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I am all about showing you the real life in my garden, including messy, dirty, sweaty, grungy hair, which I usually cover up with a hat of one kind or another. So I love this hat. And also it's one of the kinds that come already a little bit grunged so that when, not if, but when I get it dirty or messed up, it is already well on its way. That is the style, that's what I can say. The next gift comes together as a set. It's two notebooks and the notebooks have um, graph paper inside them, just plain sheets of uh, quarter inch graph paper. And there's two of them, a small and a large. And then this is landscape design templates, which are so handy. If you were watching my channel last summer, you know that I was doing a little bit of hand drawing of some garden designs and plots of what we have out in our front garden and also in the back. And so this is going to be fun to play around with in these garden um, design books so that I can try to uh, make some scale drawings of the gardens that I have 
and use these templates to actually make them a little bit accurate. Wouldn't that be a miracle? And um, I'm gonna have fun playing around with these and my colored pencils in the coming winter months when we can't be out in the garden. I'm excited about this gift here because I've never tried anything like this. This is a galvanized metal and glass terrarium. It's shaped a little bit like a greenhouse and also a little bit like a lunchbox. My dad took a lunchbox like this to his work back in the day. Um, but it's intended to look like a greenhouse, I think. And I plan to use it to make my very first terrarium. I've never done one and I'm excited to try. And so that will be a project that'll be coming up on this channel in the next week or two or three. I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna get to it, but um, I love this. Now this is a gift from my husband and it came from the gift shop at Longwood Gardens in Pennsylvania. Now uh, there is no sort of sticker or tag talking about the brand or the company that made it. So I'm sorry, I don't know if I can find a link for it or not, but I'll try to link something similar if I can't find this exactly. But this is a great, um, beautiful garden accessory. It's gonna be for my indoor gardening efforts. And it's going to give me an opportunity to try some skills that I've never tried before in the form of terrariums. Now also from the Longwood Gardens gift shop, my husband bought me two clay pots and saucers to match. And these pots are special in that they are handmade in Italy. They are Berg's brand. This is the Emilia pot in 21 centimeters, 21 inches, 21 centimeters, number 21. Amelia style. It has a beautiful braided rope look around the edge, which I find to be just so beautiful. It already has a beautiful patina just based on the variations in color of the clay. And this is a beautiful pot um, that I'm planning to, I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet. I have another one over there that I'll show you in just a second. Okay, this is the sister to that other pot. I haven't used the other one yet, but this one received the mother plant of my aloe veras when I repotted my aloe vera a couple of weeks ago. And this one has a beautiful scalloped edge design around the rim. I love it, it's just so pretty. This one is called, um, this is the Copenhagen design, I believe. And it's uh, size 18. I don't know what the numbers indicate, but uh, again, made by Berg's in Italy. And I have seen these available for sale online. Um, they can be a little pricey to ship, but they're so beautiful, they're worth it. Now, if you have a garden center near you that is a little bit, offers a little bit more upscale um, garden accessories, you might be able to find Berg's Pottery at your garden center. I know one of the garden centers near me does sell it. You might be able to find some in person sometime soon. But if not, I'll put a link down below to where you might be able to find some online. They're just so beautiful. By the way, Berg's Pottery does come in traditional orange terracotta as well. But I love this brownish gray color and I'm gonna start collecting more and more of the Italian gray or brown pottery. This gift is so sweet. It is a bird feeder wreath. So it's all kinds of different bird seeds made into the form of a wreath with a little raffia bow on it. And it's just so sweet and pretty. And I plan to put this outside, actually exactly outside the sunroom windows out here out front. I need to move my bird feeder hangers out here for the winter and hang this out there and enjoy watching the birds come and go. I know these are available in many different styles, colors, shapes, sizes um, from a lot of different vendors as well. So I'll put some links down below where you might be able to find one either exactly like this or similar so that you can enjoy beautiful um, bird seed feeders in your garden as well, or give them as gifts to your friends and loved ones. Now these next two gifts are not precisely garden gifts. However, they're garden themed, garden related. Um, I am a jigsaw puzzler. I like to do them. My husband does too, especially in the winter months. And this one is beautiful, beautiful foil and bright colors. Actually, this wasn't a gift. This is a souvenir that I bought at the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum gift shop when we were there in September when we were visiting our kids in September, but I forgot to bring it home. So it spent a few months sitting in our son and daughter-in-law's house, waiting for us to come up and get it and bring it home at Christmas time. So, uh, but it's lovely. I love the fact that it has different rectangle shapes 
of wallpaper looking kind of botanical prints and they're connected by these gold zigzag threads as if it's a quilt. Um, and what I love about it as a jigsaw puzzler, I am not a fan of the huge, hard, difficult puzzles. I like puzzles that have clear things that you can make and then all you gotta do is kinda put them together with the background colors. And this is gonna be a nice opportunity to do several small puzzles and then just put them together um, once they're together. And that's the kind of puzzle I really enjoy. And speaking of that kind of puzzle, Here's a puzzle that my husband gave me for Christmas. And it too is garden themed. It's pictures of, actually drawings of garden related items, flowers, vegetables, tools, and supplies. And what I love about this puzzle is that again, I'll be able to find all the blue hose pieces and put them together. And I'll be able to find all the orange sunflower and all the yellow sunflower and put them together in blocks and clumps. And then all I have to do is put the backgrounds together to join them all up. So this is my favorite kind of puzzle. The picture is something that can be individually put together, little images, and then put them together in the large, bigger picture. So I'm grateful to my husband for buying this beautiful puzzle for me and I'll be doing this really soon. And the last item I wanna share with you is this beautiful plant stand that my daughter-in-law picked out for me, and I think her mother helped, so thank you, Judy. Um, it's black uh, metal. I think it's either aluminum or iron. It folds up. Um, you lift up this shelf and then it folds together so it can be stored easily. It has a hook here that you can hang a hanging planter in, or it has a shelf down here that you can set a planter on. Right now, I just have set my spider plant on here till I become more inspired about what I might wanna put in here later. Um, but you could also have a low plant and a high plant, so there's a lot of opportunity. You could also hang something decorative from here, like a sign or a piece of art, or maybe a wind spinner or anything like that. So it's a beautiful piece. It will live on our side, north side porch in the gardening season. But for now, in the winter, I'm going to keep it here with a house plant. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet. So I will be thinking about that over the coming weeks. Now, this is the kind of thing that I think you're going to just have to go to a garden center and look for one. I will look online to see if I can find anything remotely close to this. But um, as far as garden plant stands and things like that, um, I think your best bet is to just do some searching and see what you can find. I'm not sure if this one exactly is available somewhere or not. So as much as I love to receive gifts, especially garden related gifts, and I'm very grateful for all of these, I also love to give gifts for the gardeners in my life. So I wanted to share with you some ideas for gifts that I have given this year and in years past to my friends and family who are gardeners. First, this year, as you saw, when I divided up my aloe vera plant, I had a bunch of little smaller planters and I was able to give those away as part of my Christmas gifts to my friends. And so that is a really easy no-brainer. Look at your house plants, make cuttings or divisions and pot those up and you can give those away as easy, low-cost gifts for anyone in your life that would enjoy it. The next idea I have for you is to um, think about the gardener in your life and where they are in their gardener journey. If they're relatively new to gardening in the last couple of years, maybe they're still building out their good tool collection. So think about things like, does the person you're buying for have a great pair of hand pruners? Something like a Felco 2 or the Corona brand or something similar to that. Really high quality, sturdy made, re-sharpenable tools that fit in, a, um, in their hand really nicely, have a little bit of heft to them, won't break after a couple of months of use. So hand pruners, hand trowels, um, some things like uh, rakes and shovels, Think about the tools that you go to over and over again that you would recommend to someone who is starting out gardening and get those tools for your gardener friends. Of course, giving live plants is always welcome to any gardener. Just think about where the plant wants to live. It's probably not a great idea to give live outdoor plants to the gardener who's in the middle of a frigid winter, but house plants, yes. Bulbs for indoor forcing, of course. Um, even fresh flowers that are cut into bouquets. That is a lovely thing to give a gardener friend. 
Books are a great idea. Idea books, how-to books, uh, inspiration books, journals type memoir books, all of these things are lovely and wonderful ideas to give to the gardeners in your life. Of course, in gardening, there are lots of things that are consumable that you go through every season and you always find yourself needing to buy more. I'm talking about things like um, plant tags, plant markers, um, even gardening gloves if you use the neoprene covered kind. Is that what it is? I don't know. Um, things like uh, Velcro tape or twine, um, twist ties, plant stakes, um, any of those kind of things that are just in a basic gardener's tool set. That would be a wonderful gift idea to put together a package that contains lots and lots of the simple basic staple things that every gardener finds that they need. How about some statuary for their garden? Um, I gave my daughter-in-law this year a little small cement concrete uh, butterfly for her garden and I'm eager to see where she places it next spring. How about seeds and a book about seed starting and maybe a seed starting tray? Um, a little, I like to put together little themed package gifts that have more than one thing in them. Um, so it can be more fun to open and uh, you know, you can put together a few inexpensive things, they add up to make a substantial gift for someone. And also it gives them kind of a, a nice little self-contained kit that they can use to get started with whatever gardening project you have provided to them. Another idea is to give wind chimes or other garden decorative things. Um, how about beautiful plant stakes or a metal spinner or um, like I received the birdhouse or maybe a bird feeder. Um, any sort of garden art projects that you think would match your uh, gardener that you're giving to. A great garden hat is useful for every gardener, male or female, young or old, everybody needs a good gardening hat to protect themselves from the harsh sun. What have I forgotten? What kinds of gifts have you given to the gardeners in your life? And what kinds of things did you wish for that you didn't get this Christmas? Let me know in the comment section down below what you have found to be great gardening gifts. And also give us ideas about what um, you would like to receive in your next gift giving occasion. Thanks so much for joining me today. This is kind of an unusual post for me and it's poorly timed given that we've, like I said, we've already passed by the major gift giving season. But like I said, maybe you have some Christmas money or you just want to splurge and treat yourself after you've treated everyone else at the holidays. So I hope this was useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions or ideas, put them in the comment section down below. We'd all love to hear from you. Check out the other comments that get put down there too. You might learn something or find something new or get a great idea from them. I know I get lots of great ideas from you guys all the time. Thanks for joining me today. I hope I'll see you again in another video real soon. Take care, friends.